Amos chapter 5 verse 16 Therefore the Lord Jehovah God the God of hosts everything all the angels all the animals all the planets stars the Lord look at that the Lord all capitals God of hosts and then the Lord, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is speaking. You better pay attention. It says that wailing shall be in all streets. And I can imagine so when, when the enemy came and attacked. And took Israel captive. And when it happened to Judah that Jeremiah wrote a whole book, Lamentations. Well, let's read on some more. And they shall say in all the highways, streets and highways, Alas! Alas! Do you study your Bible? Do you study words? Now, I didn't look at modern Bibles, and I'm not speaking about modern Bibles in chapter 5, verse 16. I'm talking about modern Bibles in general. Do you have a Bible that takes words out? Or changes the words? I don't know if this has been tampered with. Alas, alas, you can do a concordant search. And alas, alas, there's a great city that's destroyed. I'll leave it to yourself. And they shall call the husbandmen to mourning. As they plant, harvest. Such as are skillful in lamentation to wailing. Uh, so why is the husbandman skilled? Why, well, there's many times that he's had a failed crops. Failed crops don't bring in money. He's used to it because it happens quite often. Even the writers of Lamentation, I don't mean the book of Lamentation, but Lamentation are going to be wailing. And all the vineyards shall be wailing. But typically, vineyard at the time of, of the harvest and the, and the wine making, they're singing, they're rejoicing, they're shouting, they're having a hallelujah. For I will pass through thee. Oh, look at Exodus there. I will pass through thee in the Exodus night, the Passover night, when, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. It didn't say when I see the church. So what's the vineyards? The vineyards are making wine. Wine is a type of blood. It's not intoxicating liquor. As soon as you know, they press out that wine with their feet at, at, at the wine presses, it doesn't become intoxicated. It's grape juice. So should be your church Lord's Supper. <clears throat> For there are churches that have intoxicating liquor. That's not God's blood. Symbolic. Now this, woe unto you the desire of the day of the Lord. Someone I knew used to say, well, I'm waiting for the day of the Lord, I'm waiting for the day of the Lord, I'm waiting for the day of the Lord. I, this is one of my first teachings. This is one of my first instructions to somebody that you're wrong. 
And you would look at David, oh, that's the rapture, the rapture. That's what this person thought. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Get one more word. Now watch this. We got the second advent. As if a man did flee, flee from a lion. He's running from a lion. I'd be running too. And a bear met him. You in trouble. Or, all right, he, he's, he's, he's running from the line in the UK. He didn't meet a bear. He ran into his house, went into his house, and leaned his hand against the wall. Ah, I'm safe. And a serpent bit him. I rather have been running from the line. What do you see in verse 19? If you studied Daniel correctly, if you studied the book of Revelation correctly, if you look at David and his sheep, 18 is, is the second advent, 19 is the tribulation. That's the Antichrist. That's the nation of Israel running, fleeing from the Antichrist. And they run from him, and he catches some here, or he catches some there. Shall not the day of the Lord, this is, this is the second advent, be darkness, and not light. Even very dark, and no brightness in it. What is the day of the Lord? What is happening? At all seven of the vials, the seals, and the trumpets comes to the conclusion is the sun is dark. You can't worship Baal. You can't have the sunrise service no more. You can't lay your half-naked or fully naked body in front of Baal no more. It will end your, sunrise, your noon service. The moon will turn into blood or like blood. Give a whole new meaning to the blood red moon. The stars are going to go dark while a third of them are going to fall with the dragon. Called the devil, Satan, the old serpent. And then, when all this happens, then you're going to see this choo-choo train coming. But it's not a choo-choo train. It's going to be a white horse with a brown man sitting on it. And the whole army followed him. The brown man, yeah, you don't know who Jesus is. Paragraph. God speaking. I hate. Oh God. God, you just erase the hate, God. How's that? I despise your feast days. Now this is Israel before they go into captivity. These are not to God. These are not to Jehovah. Remember, Israel has the golden calves. They got the, their own feast days. Jezebel's brought in Baal. The prophets of Baal. Dan has had the, the, 
the, the, the Holy Catholic Church, before the Catholic Church, before Jesus Christ. And he's had Mike, Micah's images and priests set up. Jeroboam's real sin that causes a nation. This is not God's feast. This is not God's way. That's down in Jerusalem. And Jeremiah will tell us they're messed that up. You know, their feast days are not Passover, Feast of Tabernacles, Pentecost. No, you know what their feast days are? Uh, let me give them names. Uh, Estar. Tammuz. Spring and Winter Solstice. All Hallows Eve. And they are celebrated by the church today. Why doesn't the church, as symbolic to what the Bible is, I have never been in a Baptist church or ever heard a Baptist church celebrate the Passover, the Feast of Tabernacles. Oh, they celebrate the Roman Easter the Roman worldly Christmas. I mean, it's just as well follow it. Okay, we're not under the law, we're not Jews, but we could take the, the times of the feast of Judah, Jerusalem. Can't the church say, hey, you know, this week is the Passover. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at, during this period, we're going to look at totally exactly what the Passover was and what it meant for the Hebrews and what it meant for Jesus. We're going to look at the, the, the Feast of Tabernacles. You know, the early church, Pentecost, I think it was even Pentecost that Paul said, hey, I'm going to go to Jerusalem. One place the Bible speaks about Easter, and it speaks about it as the Roman holiday, not the Christian holiday. So the church is following Israel north. I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Noah's God does not call it what he calls it by the law. And yet they match, and yet they artificial to what God says. What did Paul say? He said there's another Jesus, there's another spirit, and there's another gospel. There's plenty of Jesuses out there. You can find a Jesus that will fit you in your sins. You can even have two or three Jesuses. You can get a whole candy bag full of Jesuses if you want. Another gospel. Well, well what's another gospel that the church is free? Bring them to church. Bite them to church. That's the good news for the church, but that's not the good news of the Bible. When Jesus said, go in all the world and preach the gospel, he did not say all are welcome. And boy, there are plenty of spirits out there. And the church doesn't recognize that this spirit that may be in their church that day or all the time or could be the unholy spirit. After all, John says, try the spirits. When you're music, you're bebopping, you're slapping your foot, and you're having a ye old half the time, that ain't God. I've sat in special music thing, and I've sat in, and remind me the days I was in a bar room. When I was a young sinner, lost, and going to hell, and I was sitting there like, 
Hey, this is concerts that I used to go to. With the cigarettes rolled up in my, my sleeve and acting like a punk. In a Baptist church on a special music night. Is it this mean we just have a great oh man you, you you're blind and you don't know what the Holy Spirit is. I hate he says. And it smells he says, though ye offer me burnt offerings, God had burnt offerings. There's a place in one of the minor prophets we haven't got to yet. Hey, or maybe I think it's Isaiah. They're offering pig. Or Do you imagine that the moment that Peter went to Cornelius' house? What is that? What on earth is that? Have you ever been to uh, New London? We had, you know, we call them ghettos. High, you know, they're all mixed of race. Have you ever been in those hallways or that neighborhood and you just smelt the different foods? Of the different customs or nations of people, their food smells different when cooked. Yeah, you'd be sitting right. Hmm, somebody's making spaghetti. Hmm, somebody's got some hamburgers. I don't. Somebody. I don't like steak. Somebody's got steak. Let's. let's I don't want to be pray. I'm not saying that smells like some some black people are making some one of their foods. That I, I mean, it's like dude, that smells like a healthy dinner. Somebody's making greens and stuff. I mean, you ever walk into your house and your mom, mm, mom, what you making? Though ye offer me burnt offerings. You see, they're acting the role, they're religious. And God says, I'm not buying it. And listen, I'm talking, I don't care what the Presbyterians and all them, and the Catholics and all that. I'm a Baptist. I've been in Baptist churches, and, and there are things in the Baptist church that they think, holy, hallelujah, glory to God! And God's in heaven. No, 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 no. And they're going to get to the judgment seat of Christ. Oh, God's just going to love it. God is going to give me a reward. God's going to say, well done. And they're going to find ashes. And their pastor, the Sunday school teacher, their song leader will be to blame. I wonder who's going to go first before each other. Is the pastor going to go before or after his congregation at the judgment seat of Christ? Especially these worldly pastors. And your meat offering. It's all prescribed in the book of Leviticus. Not these. And I may be saying something right now about the book of Amos and, 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 and the pastor. That's not what it means. The pastor doesn't even know that these are not the law of Moses offering. After reading the, lore, the story and the life and the history of Elijah and Elijah and Ahab and Jeroboam and Jezebel that's the context here neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast hey you brought the big fat beast they had the burn offerings, they had the meat offerings, they have the peace offerings. That's in the law, but that's not what they were doing. It was their offering. Their. You realize the Catholic Church, I, I grew up Roman Catholic, there's a Saint's Feast Day every day of the year. 
Saint Bogidar, Saint Nicholas, Saint Joan of Arc, Saint Pope, whatever his name is, Saint Oh Christmas, Saint Lucifer, Saint Halloween, Saint George, Saint Fred, Saint Aunt Mary, Saint <laughs> None of it is prescribed in the Bible. And it's funny, some of these Catholic churches are like, where on earth did you get that name? You brought the fat, doesn't that sound good? We, the big fat beast. We were more than offering. Alright, the question is, who got the fat? Remember Eli's sons were eating the fat? The law said you weren't to eat the fat. You were to burn the fat. Take thou away from me the noise of your songs. Oh, there's your Baptist church. There's your your bluegrass. There's your contemporary Christian music. Your hill song. I will not hear the melody of your viol. That's violin. That's a classical instrument. Lord, we're singing to you. I know. Will you knock it off? <laughs> What's the attitude to the church we read? Uh -oh. oh, Gabriel, what? That church is doing special music. I, I know. Hand me another part bag. But we just do it for Jesus. We just love Jesus. <laughs> Michael, give me another. M Michael, you're barfing too. <laughs> oh, oh, all the seraphim are in heaven. Holy, holy, oh man, I don't even want to hear that. Holy. Sing louder, guys. Your music sucks. Your music is tapping the feet of this devil that's in the church while Jesus is outside the church. Some of your congregation, con congregation has gotten up with Satan and they're dancing and bebopping with Satan. Who knows? Maybe the devil even got up on your stage and performing for you. With you. And he's laughing. Because you think you're holy and it's baloney. And it's too sorry, too bad, too sad that you're going to learn that. Not here, but you're going to learn it at the judgment seat of Christ. Or even so sad, too bad that you may learn it at the Great White Throne Judgment. I hate as a Christian to get to the to the judgment seat of Christ and realize you walk away from the judgment seat of Christ. Satan, <laughs> this is an illustration. It's not going to happen because he's been kicked out of, out of heaven by by now. But if Satan comes out, he puts his arm around, taps him. Hey, you did a good job. <laughs> Well, I thought God was supposed to say, well done. Yeah, too bad. Too sad. Satan gave you the credit. Listen, I, I listen to classical music. I listen to instrumental music. I'll put that on while I'm reading my Bible. Or I'll put that on and I just start thinking about heavenly things. But let judgment run down as water. Let it flow. And righteousness as a mighty stream. Let it go. 
Evidently, judgment and righteousness is not happening. It's been damned. D-A-M-N. We've already seen throughout Amos, we've seen throughout reading about the history. We read yesterday in Amos, they're calling evil good and good evil. That's not judgment. That's not righteousness. We read yesterday, people don't even know what evil is. They don't even know what good is. Baptists. That's not judgment. That's not righteousness. We got people that think so much of themselves. Oh, they don't need a red light. And the, the, the Christian life outside the church is so wicked, but they think they're doing so right. They're improper judging of what is being played in their car and what they're doing in their house. I think Christians are coming out of it, but there was a time when, when, when I was first saying, hey, you, you had the, the talk show. Rush Limbaugh, Prophet Rush Limbaugh, who when he went to the airport was caught with drugs. Oh, that's a great prophet you got there. And all the all these talks show that, that the Christians, oh, you know, or the government is going to fix the government, is going to get rid. How come they never put their name on the on the ballot for the president? If they know so much and they're so smart, I'm gonna start. If I see somebody ranking on the president, I'm gonna say, uh, I want to see your name on the ballot next November when we're look. We're, we're gonna run for president. I want your name on the ballot. Well, you shut up. You shut up. Have ye offered unto me sacrifices, offerings in the wilderness forty years? Don't all house of Israel. This is going back to the history. Okay, you did this in forty years in the in. And I'm not taking your offerings. Grandma and Grandpa used to serve Jesus. <laughs> Well, you're not in your grandma and grandpa's time no more. You have changed. And not for the good. The children in grandma and grandpa's time didn't shoot each other. Everybody had a gun in the house and they didn't shoot the neighbors. They may have shot the neighbor's dog, but hey, get that dog out of my yard. Bang! Look how the kids are acting today. So amazing the Baptist church. And somebody's getting, man, I, I would have been spanked. They're running around. I'll let them run around. They, you know, it's okay if they break things and stuff like that. And when that kid grows up and breaks things and ends up in the law and the courts and all that to be sued, don't come running. <laughs> You're actually saying, okay for the children in the church house running around and something gets broken. Oh, well. And if you don't, listen, I'm speaking about one church right now. And if you don't like it, you can just take your broken guitar or whatever and just leave. You're looking at the church. Okay. I got kicked out of that church because I said the VBS was too much decoration. Too much of a um, you're sitting there, you're, you're listening, trying to listen to the message, and everything else is just blocking out what was being said. I can't think of a word. Distraction. I don't know why I was thinking, oh. You can't go back to what Grandma, you know, when the Baptists go, back, 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 back. The Baptists weren't called Baptists, back, 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 back. 
And there's some fools out there, well, you know, we come from John the Baptist. The guy died before the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. How do you say that the back church goes back to him? And be careful, maybe some of the women could be wearing loin cloth. But, now watch this. I'm going to kick. But you have bore, okay, this is what you're doing. You have borne the tabernacle of Esther in Christmas in your images. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have bored the tabernacle. That's the house. That's the tent. That's the building. Of Molech. Do you know who Molech was? That's the God where they were burning their little children to. That's the iron God with the hands. You put the baby in those hands and electronic, I mean, uh, uh, mechanically, those arms will throw the baby into the belly of that burning hell and to drown out the, 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 the cries and the screams of the children. Terror and terror, you played the drums, the boom to the boom, and you got the band going loud. You know what's going on with, 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 with abortion today? You got cars blaring out their rotten, filthy music. Wait a oh, minute. Chinnam, that's another god. He's got pictures of that God, images. The star of your God, small g. You know what that star is? I'm going to step on your toes. I'm going to kick you in the face. It's going to hurt. I don't give no medication. I just kick. I'm not gonna soothe you. I'm not gonna give you no numbing. That is the star of David. That's the star right now on the Israeli flag. When you see that that star of the two triangles, one triangle and an upside down triangle fixed together, that is the God. Which God says, you made yourself. I didn't make that. That star of David is not the sign of Israel. A burning bush at the Red Sea parting. The land flowing of milk and honey. The rock with the water. The manna. The Passover night. Those are the symbols of Israel. That star of David is a small G.O.D. I don't think you're going to see that star of David when Jesus comes. And in the millennium. And in the future. Therefore I will cause you to go into captivity. Beyond Damascus. Look, there's Saith the Lord, whose name is the God of hosts. And they go into captivity. In the tribulation period, they're going to be all over running away from that Antichrist. 